Hi friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Darling Cottage Diary. Today we're going to be doing a little journal page featuring uh, my interpretation of the ladies of the Aristocats. If you haven't seen it, it's one of Disney's animated films from the 1960s and it has a very old school style <laughs> of, of animation. I love it. I love that you can see some of the artists like pencil strokes and it, it's not quite perfect. It's very much my style of, it's, it, the illustrations are beautiful and nobody is trying to look like the real world. I love it so much. <laughs> there were several movies that time period where the illustrators did this. I think 101 Dalmatians was like this, The Jungle Book, there are a couple of other ones. And The Aristocats, not only is it a visually a beautiful film, and the music is really fun, um, but I think that it actually has the most perfect love story in the whole of the Disney sphere. Like, I don't want any of the Disney princess stories, <laughs> uh, romances. I want Duchess and uh, Thomas O'Malley's. So, anyway, I am using um, the ice cream and candy bar journal from Real Little's Journals by Moose Toys. This one they did not send me or gift me. I bought this one fair and square. I think it was from last season or maybe spring. I, I bought several on a, um, <laughs> on a on a binge or whatever you want to call that on a spree on a I, I don't know. I, it, my wallet shamed me afterward but I regret nothing because they're adorable and beautiful. But I, it's all pink, and I wanted to feature a pink, um, a pink journal with lots of pink accessories because Marie wears this pink bow around her neck, and all of her merch <laughs> is covered in pink. And she also just gives the pink vibe of she's very feminine, but she can get rough if she needs to, and wrestle with her brothers, and one of her. Um, most fun clothes, I think, is when she is when she does get in a fight with her two brothers, and you know, Duchess walks over her mom. It's like, is most in lady like for you to be doing this? And she she was like, I mean, ladies do not start fights, but they can finish them, and that just encompasses her whole personality. So I, I just I wanted to feature something very feminine, but at the same time. A very vintage, hand-drawn kind of style, vintage style, because that is the style of the film itself. It's a little rough around the edges, and that's something that I think is so pretty about it. It is also set in like Edwardian era Paris, and you know I love my French, in, you know, influence. So that's another reason I love it so much. There's some French they speak in the movie. The beginning song is in French, or a lot of it is, and it it's just it has all all of the things that I like in it. Now, in regards to the love story, the background information is that it's this, you know, single mom adult feline female named Duchess with her three kittens and she lives uh, with her owner who is this, I think she was an actress or a singer or like a performer of some sort because it's suggested by this lady's lawyer, um, you know, talking about different features that she's been in and that's kind of how she either made her fortune or maybe she was born into wealth and then she was afforded to work in the arts. I'm not sure. That part of her background is a little obscured as well as, you know, where the kitten's dad is, whether, you know, her duchess and her guy separated or she's a widow or whatever. They don't talk about it, which I also kind of like, especially for the time period being in the 60s when you know, divorce, no-fault divorce became a lot more common and legal, and there were, you saw a rise in single parents, and um, it's just, I don't know, I think it normalizes, without throwing in your face, it normalizes a different kind of family unit than the nuclear unit we had mostly seen, or the, like, young couple falling in love that we had seen with Disney up until then. So that's something I really like. And as the story progresses, you know, they find themselves not in their very fancy uh, Parisian mansion. 
they kind of find themselves in the country at first and then kind of on the streets of Paris trying to find their way back home to their lady. And along the way, they find, well, Thomas O'Malley finds them. He's an alley cat. And he's rebellious and a little bit of a scoundrel, but if you are someone who loves the princess and the scoundrel trope, you'll love this movie. You probably already know this movie. And he is just trying to romance Duchess at first, and then he, you know, learns that she has kids. And it doesn't throw him at all. He is just like, all right, well, we're gonna, you know, he plays with them. He's very sweet with them and very romantic with her. And it's just a really sweet way of, you know, a, a, it's a love story that's not two young people, you know, it's a love story of two people who are, I know they're anthropomorphized animals, but <laughs> it's still characters we relate to. And it's these two people who have come together later in life and, um, with kids and with family dynamics and everything and it's just it's a sweet story to unfold and I just love how much he's kind of obsessed with her and dotes on her it's so sweet I also want to take a minute to thank my patrons for supporting me this month Kathleen, Joanna, Florence, Rebecca, Sasha, Patsy, Teresa, Effie, Kim, Emily, Carly, Carrie, Sherry, Coco, LP, Crystal, Tracy, Britt, Rebecca, Alicia, Keisha, Kenna, Rachel, Denise, W, Jennifer, Ariel, and Rasha. If you are interested in monthly ephemera being sent, little happy mail parcel being sent from me, voting on themes, access to our Discord server where we share our pages and get caught up on, on what we're doing creatively, we'd love to have you. Go ahead and check that link I have below. And also, if you're not into that, that's cool, but if you like this kind of videos, feel free to subscribe and like. It helps my channel grow a lot. And this, oh my goodness, this, <laughs> this thing. I got a die cut machine because I couldn't help myself and I love it so much already. This is the first thing I made with it and it's just a pink gate and it's beautiful and it was perfect for this spread. So. Um, ephemera club you are getting this with your library theme this month because you just you can't not have one of these so <laughs> they'll probably be different colors they probably won't all be pink um but it'll be that shape okay so this stuff i get questions on all the time it's just regular drywall spackle if you've ever lived in an apartment or a dorm you use it to fill in holes or little patches. It's, um, this one's the light, lightweight, airy kind. The brand I have listed in my Amazon storefront in the tools section. And the one I've used in other pages like the Clicker and Medusa were just the wetter mud kind. And then this is the Malibu, uh, Malibu blush color ink from Ferris Wheel Press. They um, put that out over the summer for the Barbie movie. They have it back in stock uh, if y'all wanted to grab one. Me and my loving of pink is perfect. <laughs> I love it. I, I use it all the time. Um, but yeah, so I just I wanted to add a little bit of texture right here at the end and this bow really closely matched the shape of the bow that um, Marie wears throughout the movie. Anyway, so I just wanted a little bit of extra texture there with the bows and to go with the gate. The color probably could have matched a little bit better, but I was rapidly running out of what little daylight I had. I filmed this so late and I was also storming for the first time in months. So um, I didn't have much light, which is why there's mostly candlelight. Hopefully you enjoy the coziness. And also most of you seem to really like the voiceovers. I had one of the best, um, like performing videos last week and so many people said they like the voiceover so I guess I'm just gonna keep doing them which is fine with me <laughs> but um, if you make it to the end please leave me a little pink bow and tell me your favorite romantic it doesn't have to be Disney but just tell me your favorite romantic story um, I'm curious and I want to do some I want to layer my spooky stuff with some romantic stuff over this season. So maybe there's some both spooky and romantic. Anyway, 
y'all have a great week thank you for being here bye